This ASMR video contains 3D audio and is best enjoyed with headphones or earbuds. Please like, comment, and subscribe as that helps the channel out lots. But most importantly, thank you so much for watching. Hello. This video is going to be a 3D audio only video, so none of my model today. I know I just made a YouTube post talking about people not using their models, but for this one, there's not really a need, you know? It's just going to be all triggers. Um, hopefully this works out. The stupid fucking uh, new heater is ridiculously loud. And my parents have it running when they don't really need to have it running, so, you know. Eh. Maybe if I ever get to own my own house, huh? that's a funny joke. I can, I can do it then. Um, but, yeah. So, I'm going to be doing a lot of that. I, I hope to drag this one out to about 30 minutes, hopefully. But we will see. We will see. Um, but yeah. So, going to be just messing around with the 3D. Me moving from side to side and switching into my girly voice. Mm-hmm. Vampire Mommy is here to take care of you. Unfortunately, there will be no hair play because, well, it kind of hurts my fingers to run it through that wig. It's really sharp. I wonder if there's any less sharp wigs that I can get, but I'm just going to go from ear to ear, all in your ear. Also, this is being recorded live in my and my Patreon exclusive, uh, well, not the Discord. The Discord itself isn't Patreon exclusive. But the channels that I'm using are Discord exclusive. Or, or Patreon. Di the Discord channels that I'm using are Discord exclusive. Very good, me. Very good. Ignore the water bottle sound. The, the Patreon exclusive recording Discord channel. It's only five bucks a month, and it gives you... It gives you access to being able to sit in and make fun of me, as my 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 thralls and friends are tend to do while I record. Also, uh, they simp for my chair. It's very weird. I don't understand the simpinch for my chair, but they simp for my chair. I can't claim to understand it, but if it makes my good boys and girls happy, I will gladly let them simp for my chair. But yeah, just to, you know, a small Patreon show, just because. But it is kind of fun to record when I have, you know, people here, like, watching me record it, and then I edit it sometimes. It's a good time to be had all around. So, I'll do a little more whispering and rambling in your ears. You see, um, there's been some mild changes. Um. Like said before, I'm still going to be uh, live with Dia at 9B, 9A Central on Thursdays, but um, streaming and other stuff, I don't know, it'll really just depend. Um, as for the other collabs, uh, it's it's hard, it's hard. I, I say that because I don't actually have much free time, and right now my emotional state is kind of wonky. Um, but yeah. Mostly because I'm dealing with a hostile work environment, which is never, never fun, never fun. But I, I hope I won't last much longer. I really, really, really hope it doesn't last a whole lot longer because I really, really can't stand this. I can't feel like two more weeks before I say something. On other news, I have an interview with NBC. Well, no, I don't have an interview with NBC. NBC finally got back with me about it, a pre-recorded interview I did, um, so I might be working for NBC instead of the local station I'm working for, um, I'll keep everybody updated because I'll be super duper happy, um, so yeah, those are the only updates in my life, I'm gonna do more inaudible whispering because some people like that, I personally hate inaudible whispering as I find it frustrating to turn my volume up to strain to hear. Basically, while I talk, it's kind of weird. Okay, enough of that. Enough inaudible. 
whispering. How about I move to my soft spoken? Yeah, we'll go soft spoken for a little bit. Gonna do soft spoken and ramble and damble and hey, I've hit the five minute mark. That's pretty good. And the 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 thing turned off. Sweet. Okay. Um Hmm. I I use Adobe Audition. I don't know how to use it. But I use Adobe Audition and it says mix dry wet and I've got it set to hundred percent wet, but I don't know what that means. I'm not wet. Do I make the program wet? That'd be weird. Anyway, let's try to move while I can. Let's try to move this one off my some of the things I can only do with the 3DO, like ear cupping. really experimental. I'm going to leave it in the video even if it doesn't work out, but let's try this experiment. This is going to be a really cr crazy one, but let me, let, let me, let me give you the illusion first. Hi, darling. How are you? Oh, that's... I'm sorry to hear that, my love. I'm sorry to hear that. Here. What if I lay your head right on my chest and you listen to my heartbeats? Mm hmm. How about the other side? Would you like to hear my heartbeats on my chest from the other side? Alright, I'm going to leave that in the video and hope that that little experiment of Vampire Mommy laying her, your head on her chest works, because if it does, I might be able to use- I'm going to leave it in even if it didn't work, so oops if it didn't. Um, but hopefully if that works, you can you, you guys can watch and look forward to that happening in, in another video, another mommy video. Mm-hmm. Heartbeats, uh, I don't want to use, I don't want to use a, a stock heartbeat sound effect if I can help it, if I can use more literally organic sound effects. But yeah, that's just, uh... Anyway, let's do some more 3DO things. The basement's always cold. Anyway, the basement is always a miserable temperature. There's no point in it existing for me. <sighs> Whatever. I do apologize that you can hear that in the background. And I'm sorry if it kills the ASMR. I've got the noise gate set to an acceptable-ish level because it distorts my voice a little bit if I use too much. One day if I ever have my own fucking place, I'm gonna have a much... I'm gonna have foam pads everywhere. It's gonna be great. That is the dream, but who knows if I'll ever live to see it. Now how about for a random trigger I've saved for some stupid reason? The rice cup.
ice cup sound. I hope it sounded nice. I'm gonna fucking snap if I keep hearing the cedar thingy go off, though. It's causing me to get really pissed. I don't need to be. I can hear it over my headphones. Which is a little too loud, if you ask me. It doesn't fucking work, because the thermostat is busted. Alright, let me go grab a new set of triggers. To Lars, say according, he wants me to experiment on us. He wants to, he wants me to experiment on you. Let's see if I cannot get some lovely baby lotion. It smells really nice. Johnson Johnson makes really nice pill and baby lotion. I used to, when I was like a little baby, I guess I used to get on after after like a, getting a bath. So, gonna shake the bottle up. All right, let's see. Got some. Some goopy lotion sounds. Alright. That's a pretty decent amount of big puddly babies. Of good baby smelling goop. Good baby smelling goop. I'm getting cats for how long it was. Oh my gosh, it smells so nice. I haven't had I haven't used this in forever. I keep it in like I get like this case of the dryer. I just want to smell something nice. Lotiony sounds, lotiony sounds. Also, I'm not cutting like any of the sounds. There's a really loud noise, so um, this will be fascinating. I was gonna keep my platoon forks by my side against it because yeah. Okay, now my hands are a little too lotiony. They feel slippery now. I'm not sure if that's what lotion is supposed to do to you or not, but whatever. Anyway, I hope this stuff is edible. It's for babies, but um. We're gonna find out if humans are, it's okay for human, I mean vampires, to ingest it soon. Ready? You should rub your ears all over with these nice baby lotion hands. Nice baby lotion hands. Rubbing your ears. Give them a nice little squeeze. Squeeze behind your ears. Behind your ear. On the little blinky little rusty side of the front of your ear. Yeah. Lotion. doesn't make the 3DO taste weird, and hopefully I don't get sick. I'm pretty sure I rub most of the lotion into my skin, the most if not all of the lotion into my skin. Alright, we need... Uh, because, yeah, that would be, uh... That'd be bad, but anyway, time to give you guys some good old ear licking. Yeah. 
that with your ears. I was telling you, man. Yeah, it tastes funny. It tastes nasty. Yeah. Yeah, it tastes nasty. Yeah. This is normally so fun, but this time it's not fun. Because it tastes gross. Baby, baby lotion doesn't taste good. Who knew? Anyway. If I ever find a girl. <laughs> if I ever find a girl. to have her ears kissed and licked inside and all that stuff. I'm gonna make them a very happy person. I'd be a fan fucking death partner to them on that, on that front. Anyway, back to it. server says almost as if lotion is not meant to be digested. Hello, Ronnie. I'm going to be biting you later and I'm going to be digesting all of your blood. For that snide comment of yours. Let's wrap it up. Let's wrap some of this up by putting, trying to put gloves on. These are the sink or one of the pairs of gloves I use for the anniversary so they're uh, not super fresh, so they're probably not going to be. Oh no, easy to get on. Easy to get on. Easy to get on. Let's go, boys. Uh, you know, I'm kind of sad about the state of modern ASMR, in all honesty. If I'm being honest, the state of modern ASMR is really bad. So let me use my bit of my shirt to wipe some of this, this hair off. The state of modern ASMR is really sad. You have a lot of creative stuff, right? You have a lot of really creative stuff. And I've talked about this before. Right. You have a lot of creative stuff, but then you've got... Then you've got... Girlfriend experience stuff, which I have fun making, but I really don't like. Girlfriend experience ASMR is... It's bad. It's bad for the viewers. It's fun to make, but it's bad for people who... Because a lot of people use it as supplements of weakness, and... You sh shouldn't do that. You should not use ASMR girlfriend experience to try to fix your loneliness. It's only gonna make it worse. So it's really sad. I, I, I hate the state that a lot of ASMR has come about because it's quick and it's kind of easy to do. It's, it's kind of easy to make girlfriend experience stuff and it's very fun to be a yandere. I will not lie and say I am not having fun being a girl. Being a crazy girl in love. It's lots of fun. But for a lonely person... That's not what they need to watch. They need not do it. So it's a catch-22. I have fun and I get views. But I think it's not healthy. You know? It's very tricky to stay in modern ASMR. But I remember a time... I didn't get in on ASMR at the, at, 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 at the very start of it on YouTube. My introduction was a Whisper Crystal video. I'm the one with the lady with the purplish flower behind her. That's my, that was my introduction. It's one of the best guided sleep meditation ASMR videos out there. Whisper Crystal is amazing. Whisper Crystal is really, really good. Right? So, you know. She, she, and, and by the time... Call me Escape, uh, Maria, I think, believe that's her name. Uh, by the time she, uh, uh she, she was, she was already popping off and sounding off when I really got into it. I remember reading in about, I think it 
was in junior year. I was in junior year of high school. It's around 2015 ish. Um, she uh, she actually was featured in like a like like a BBC article or something. I think it was pretty impressive. But that was back when ASMR was a lot less creative. Modern ASMR, minus the girlfriend experience stuff, has gotten into a very creative m m format. Not all videos that are ASMR are really ASMR per se, but it's still incredibly impressive. I think mine might fall into that category. Just be rambling. I've been in this since. I've been doing, I've been part of this community since like 2011, so you know. I mean, I'm 27 now, and it was, let's see, 2011, I was 13, and 2012, I was 14, so yeah. Yeah, I've been doing, I've been doing this since I was like 13. It's, it's a fascinating thing to see evolve and stuff. You know what's crazy, though? What's absolutely crazy to me, you know, it sounds like so pretending to be ASMR, is that... Visual Sounds 1, Jenny, she doesn't have, she has a million subscribers that Fred's voice has. Jenny has some, some of them, not, not, not just Jenny and Fred. Fred is really, really, really good. He's, he's like the go-to guy for some male ASMR stuff. But it's crazy to think that Jenny's only sitting around a couple hundred thousand. And then you have people like, uh, no, I don't want to call out names like that. That'd be bad. That'd be very bad of me. Laura making fun of me, calling me Ramble here. And best friend Dia mod and server. Asking if I am okay because I ate lotion. It's fine. Rubber rats. Very good, Laura. Very good. They were rubber rats. But it's. I can sit down and talk about a ASMR thing for a while. And it's it's wild to me. Someone who's seen it since its very early days. Fuck when a film or a riff or, yeah, uh, got started doing his asylum thingy along with um I can't remember I can't remember channel nine name now Dimitri the both of them getting starting to develop into more creative stuff and Dimitri pulling out the tuning forks. Fuck I remember the first time hearing watching that watching one of his tuning fork videos. I believe it was the one where he was really introducing it as like an energy healing thing or something. What a fan fucking tastic video tuning forks were a game changer now i remember when my mom i still have it somewhere yeah right here i've got this little tuning fork here my mom bought me a full set later but she just bought me this one it's it says a on it still have it. I play with it every now and then. It's... I've had this tuning fork for fucking years. I've had that full set for you. I've had that full set I used in videos for years. I've been doing this for forever. It's... It's crazy. Think about... It's wild to think about it to me that I've been in this for so fucking long. But I love... I, I, I love the feeling of ASMR. I love the community of ASMR. I... Okay, I say I like the community, but I'm not really involved. I'm not really involved in any communities, really, to be honest. I'm barely in most communities. I'm just a passive enjoyer, and I like the I like watching ASMR creators make ASMR. Fuck, I think one of my favorites um, of traditional ASMR, so non V tubing stuff, so uh, so non V tubing, um, but still doing creative is Birch. Birch in the Woods ASMR is really really good. He's He's very creative, and he's he's very likable. He's kind of cute too, which helps, I guess. Um, fuck, just a random one I just remember. I'm curious if he's active now. We're gonna we're gonna find this out. I'm gonna look this up now. I'm gonna look up. Uh, control shift N, YouTube. Okay, let's see if this guy's active. He had an issue with me once upon a time. Tommy. Is this man, is this guy still around? Holy shit, Tony Bomboni is still active and alive. God damn. He used to have a problem with someone I hung around with. 
It's not pulling a whole lot of views, though. It's not pulling a whole lot of views. But he was... He was big. Crazy to think about. Services to book. Oh, this is most popular. I remember... I remember this is going to sound... Oh, wow, he's... One of his videos from eight years ago peaked around... His peak video was 4.6 million for an ASMR video. That's pretty good. I remember... Let's see if she's still around. People who I used to... Test ASMR. Let's see if she's still around. Um... That's a different person. Who is ASMR Tess? Huh, I can't find it now. I can't find it now. That's a bit sad. Um, she did a, like, an afterlife video that was just... It's kind of sad, but it was really, really, really good. Here's about mine. Oh, her name is ASMR Architect now, huh? I wonder if she's still... Is she still active? No, she is sadly not. Or maybe it's they are sadly not? I apologize if I missed her. She was an ASMR friend. They were an ASMR friend. Okay. Holy shit, Maria has... Maria has fucking... 2.3 million subscribers and oof she is not pulling it much oh no oh no the face of ASMR is pulling it I wonder hmm I wonder if I'd love to ask my community if they know if, if, if the more ASMR, ASMR watchers if they know the people I'm talking about here because I mean at least, uh, okay, if, if, if y'all don't know Gentle Whispering, you need to check out some more popular older ones from back in the day. She was one of the ones who introduced a lot of people to ASMR. So yeah, and then I'll, I'll link to that Whisper Crystal video as well. I'll have that in the links. It's, um, it's a shame Whisper Crystal disappeared. Whisper Crystal has, a, had a, had a good couple of videos. Like, some really, really good ones. Um... Also, I'm not editing this. I've, I'm just gonna probably like lower the volume by like a little bit and call it a day. So, um, ripperoni. If some of this was bad, I feel, I feel like I just have a, you know like a low effort. Even though I'm using low effort high tech ASMR, that's a weird way of putting it. But yeah, yeah. I'll link that. I'll link that Whisper Crystal video. Um, it's really, 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 really good. It's one of the best. And then, yeah. Talking about really good ASMR artists, Whisper Crystal had a really good one, and then Willow Wistria and Capital ASMR started off the Yandere thing, as far as I know. And I remember being blown away by the audio quality of and the voice of um, Capital. So it's a real big shame she's disappeared. I lament. I, I regularly lament that she is gone. I think, when, I think the next creator, the next voice similar to hers is Mystic Pistol, Mi Mystic Pixel, but I don't know if she's around either. Mystic Pixel did some really, really good ones too, but Mystic Pixel ASMR. Let's see, Mystic, Mystical Pixel. She moved to doing vtuber -y stuff, I think. Yeah, no, she moved to doing vtuber -y stuff. Let's see if Patreon and Twitch are still... Oh, for fuck's sake. Just fine, I'll use my... What the hell? Okay, I'll use... I'll, I'll, I'll stop using incognito mode for this stuff. Yeah, I'm just kind of doing whatever at this point. Yeah, she would be doing VTuber stuff. Is she still active? Um... She did some throne... She has some throne stuff on Twitter. Um, and then, oh man, it seems as though, I'll see if she's active on Twitch, because it would be a shame. Alright, um, streamed three months ago. Oh, I'm kind of sad now. Oh, she's a VTuber? 
I mean, it'd be sad if she quit doing ASMR, but if she's doing... Ah, nothing. That is... That is the big sad. That is the big sad about the mystical pixel. She is... Maybe she's got to go on Patreon, though. <gasps> no. Not really. Man. It is a shame to see some of the greats, some of the truly, truly greats quit over doing, quit or move on to other stuff. I get it, not every, you can't do ASMR forever, unless, you know, you're some people. Um, but it's, it's real sad, you know? Meanwhile, back to playing with your ears. It's real sad to know that. Trash. Yeah, no, it's it's real sad to see some of the some of the greats quit, you know? Being in this for so long. This is gonna be a ridiculously long video with nothing but I think I'm gonna make my thumbnail all the background image, but still, you know what I mean? Like the uh, man. Let's try the hard thing again. I don't think it's working. Yeah, I don't think the hard thing worked. I don't think the hard thing worked. Ripperoni. Ripperoni pepperoni. I've eaten a lot of pizza lately, and I'm kind of tired of it. I can't believe I'd ever say I'm getting, getting tired of pizza, but I'm getting tired of pizza. So it goes, though, right? So it goes. So it goes. This is, uh, holy cow, I'm past, I'm heading past the 30 minute mark. Um, I probably ought to wrap it up soon. I didn't think I'd be getting this. I'm really just rambling and talking about ASMR, about a lot of stuff. But thank you so much. Um, I probably have a lot more on my chest and my head and things to think about and say, but we can worry about that later. And now I, and now in my vampire mommy voice, I am going to thank you all for watching. I want to thank all of my patrons, Rehan, Cross, Lar, Curl, and Dinah. Such good boys, girls, and all in between for Vampire Mommy. Thank you so much for your support. It is greatly appreciated. Mm-hmm. And thank you, Mousepad, for making a lot of noise. Thank you so much. Um, but yes, I will see you all in the future. Thank you for watching. Bye.